Hi, my name is Sofena Anarantab. This is my our group member. First, uh, Olivia Kesita Kongkong and Stanislawa Anna Stephen Sedan. First, I want to tell about introduction for Project JTMK Chatbot. Uh, first, uh, JTMK Chatbot is provide information which does not require any physical contact and the second is show clear information about GTMK department for problem statement we have three which is number one is student like as far about the TMK information and then the second is get the information needed on time and then the last for problem statement is a uh, manual system still used to display about JTMK information objective for project JTMK chatbot that have three which is number one is to develop a chatbot that uses a common sense database when interact with user and the number two is to allow student to interact with the chatbot system anytime and the last is to make student easier to find information about GTMK department information. My name is Olivia and today I'm gonna present and guide you guys how to use our website. So I'm gonna make sure all of these links at our navigation bar is working. So I'm gonna click on home. So we're there home. So for about us, it will automatically take you guys to the about us sections. So it's much easier other than scroll down. For the contact for the contact us is also the same. It will automatically scroll down to its section where we will see there's a uh, phone and fax, email address and social media. And here is a form for user or student to submit uh, comments. Uh, comments is the same as feedback and so here is our gallery I'm gonna click on gallery so now we're in the gallery page so here there are pictures of JTMK students who attend contests and events that provide that have been provided by JTMK so here I'm gonna click on the random pictures to see if it's working so now I'm gonna scroll to the bottom of the gallery page is the same as the home page so here I'm gonna try to fill in the form So I'm gonna put my comments to it and now I'm going to submit. So thank you, your record has been saved. It will this means that your data has already been uh, saved inside our database. And since we already submit the form as a user, now we're trying to log in as an admin to check whether the records has been saved. Or, or we can say has been stored inside our database so here I'm going to click on admin so this is our admin page interface where as an admin you should enter the valid admin name and password in order to view the records from user comments so if admin enter incorrect admin names or password an alert will be displayed at the top of the admin login page. So I'm going to try to enter incorrect admin name. For example, Stanislawa and then random password. So now I'm going to sign in. So as you can see, there, this is, there's a, a alert display at the top of the admin login page. So I'm going to click OK and return. So now I'm going to enter the correct admin name. SOS 2021 and the correct admin password so it will direct us to the list of the record this is how our interface for records looks like it's simple 
I use PHP code to connect and to display all of the records from the original database to my HTML page here. So here's the button link to the original database. So you can see all of the record that has been submitted from the user comments form are already updated in this table here. When I click to the PHP admin, it will bring me to the localhost database. So this is the table for admin login and this is table for form. I'm going to click for form. Okay, so this is all of the records that has been submitted from the user comment form. Where as an admin, you can delete and reorganize them. So that is all from me. And Stanislawa, we're going to continue about the chatbot part. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stanislawa. So right now, I'm going to present about chatbot. Okay, as you see on the screen right now, this is our website. And to go to the chatbot, you have to click this robot icon to start the chatbot after you click the chatbot icon the box of your chat will appear and the chatbot will ask you to enter your name so you have to enter your name first to start the chatbot in this chatbot they have four types of menu natural info JTMK timetable, subject and code subject, and others. If you click on the lecturer info option, the chatbot will list down all the lecturer of JTMK department. Let's have a look on this one on Encik Sharafi Muhammad Yusuf. So, this chatbot will display information about Encik Sharafi Muhammad Yusuf. Next one is uh, the JTMK timetable option. So if you click this JTMK timetable option, it will display all the semester. You have to choose which semester you are. So for example, if you are in semester one, and it also will display the semester one classes so you have to choose your class your own class so i choose ddt1 as one okay the timetable image will appear in this uh, chatbot moving on to the third option which is subject and code subject so if you click the subject and code subject the chatbot will ask you to choose your track software or network for example uh, i choose software track uh, then the chatbot will ask you again to choose your semester uh, i will choose semester five so the chatbot will respond all the list of the subject that you have to take during semester five for the software track so right now let's have a take a look on the network track it's still the same it will ask you to choose your semester uh, right now we choose semester three so all of the semester three subject will be listed on this chatbot for a uh, network track Okay, last but not least, uh, the last option of the menu in this chatbot is others. So let's take a look what this option do. If you click the others, the chatbot will ask you, please type what are you looking for. For example, I will write a GTMK lecturer name. So, uh, this chatbot will respond with the uh, lecturer information. Then, the chatbot will ask, do you still want to continue? If I click yes, the chatbot will bring us back to the main menu. 
but if you click no the chatbot will end the conversation and it will say goodbye have a nice day i guess that's all from our presentation about our chatbot thank you